So we've seen uh, that often the main challenges when trying to bring a circular product to market is not really just the design of the product, but rather the whole system all around the product. So what can Green Village and what can you tell us about the systems thinking? And we think there are four different aspects of challenges you can face if you're innovating. Yeah. So one of them is indeed the more the system thing about the technology and how does it fit into the system. Mm. Uh, the other thing is that the, there should be an appropriate, appropriate business model. Mm. Uh, we also, as society, should embrace, want to embrace your innovation or your idea. Mm. And also there should be an... Uh, it should fit into the laws and regulations applied to the area where you want to uh, put it in. Okay, like your model. Up yes, here. yes, exactly. Okay. So, and together with all those four different stakeholders, yeah, yeah. you should uh, try to... So the stakeholders, engineers, entrepreneurs, general public and government. Yes, nice. and they should all come together to get those challenges into Get the piece, solutions. The for pieces it. of the puzzle yes. I'm reading here. Yeah, so that, yeah. if you put those pieces of the puzzle together, so let's just look at it. Engineers looking at technology and systems. Entrepreneurs looking at the business model. Mm -hmm. Societal embracement, because that's the general public. And government looking at legislation and regulation. Yes. Put that all together. Mm -hmm. And that's your approach here in Green Village. Yes. Nice. Okay. So if you're missing one of those puzzles, you yeah. come here and you test, demonstrate, and uh, refigure how you should do it better. I get it. So yeah? putting the whole system together not just the design of things, which would be the technology and systems of mm -hmm. the engineers, but the whole thing all together. Okay. Um, so one of the things that we're interested in as well is, is startups and new business and entrepreneurship. So how does Green Village help with that? Well, we see it more as, as if you have an idea or a concept or you want to make something, you, uh, you're going into this innovation funnel. Mm. You're thinking about a, an idea and you want to have it to the market mm. and you have different steps you're gonna go through in mm. order to get to this to the to, to the big wide world mm. um, and uh, we think that it, normally you think about one idea mm. you're gonna make it and you apply it into a pilot location but we think that if you ha be one step in front of it so first start at a green village test and demonstrate your product face the challenges try to uh, develop your innovation in a bigger way. You have mm. a kind of a hop, step, jump, and you go oh. faster to this market application. Mm. Well, I so like that's that. more the idea. So it's a safe play space when in the early stages of a startup where, yes, you, where yeah. you can, you you can do the hop from yes. theory, theory and yes. lab to Green Village. And you're allowed to make mistakes. Yeah. And you're learning by doing. Yeah. So with that idea, you, you're making a first a smaller step at the beginning, but mm. you're getting farther, further and faster in the end. And I know it's after Green Village you've got pilot locations, mm -hmm. so this is where the business is now going out into the field and yes. actually yes. really doing yes. stuff. So if you're done here and you're ready to, to scale up, yeah. you go to a pilot location or to somewhere else. But here you have a lot of comp other companies around as well, so you've mm -hmm. got like a company infrastructure around. Yes. So yes. though it's still within the campus, it's more like the world outside. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. I get it. Well, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome.